Hello everybody, so today I wanted to show you how did I fix this Western Western Digital Blue uh, solid state drive. Uh, basically I was repairing one computer and I was accidentally <coughs> unplugging and plugging in the cables for the SSD drive, uh, the power cable, and immediately the, the, the computer turned off and there was smoke everywhere. Actually, it wasn't like that. Actually, I was unplugging the cables and plugging in, but there wasn't the smoke. There was just a little like sensation of smokes of something that burned, and uh, and eventually it was the, this solid state drive. There was two solid state drives. The first one survived, and this one will get burned. So, and I was frustrated because I thought, okay, I have to pay. For this damage myself so I have to buy a new solid state drive for my brother which computer it was so yeah but apparently it turns out it was quite easy to fix this one without huge uh, engagement so just a little little neat trick I can show it to you today Okay, so I will remove the case. Yeah, and I should believe that the case is open already. It is, but it doesn't come off so easily. Okay. Come on. So I remove all the screws and still the case is holding together ah yeah no okay and yeah there's two more screws over here that's great as you can see all this space is just empty empty air there's nothing there just this little piece of module why do you need so big hard drive if only that big space is um, used by the solid state drive so i will try to adjust the um, the focus over here come on is it doing something yes it is so i start to worry that the problem is actually over here because the you can see that this is a little bit like it seems that it it is damaged over there but actually the problem was other in other other side so here in this place there was a small diode and i have it over here like that and as you can see this diode you can see that there's a tiny tiny hole over there and it's burnt and i thought okay well that's an easy fix that's just a diode no big deal but that's that's not so simple because this particular is a zener diode meaning that this is not a regular regular diode which mm, tries to prevent some um basically if you plug the positive and negative sides in opposite ways so the diode could prevent that you damage the system if there is diet in series but this particular diet is placed not in series but in parallel and what this does is it's it has some kind of threshold for example 3.3 volts and if the voltage goes above 3.3 it starts to uh, open up and uh, or better would say it starts to closing up and starts to conduct uh, a, c a current and basically what it does, it just uh, took all the external voltage, which is, which is over the 3.3 volts, on itself. And if there is a small current uh, voltage peaks, this diode will dissipate this current in, 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 in this body. But if the peaks go for longer time or extremely high, as it went in this case, you can see the diode is burned and this device doesn't work anymore. So 
what I did, I just I just removed the diode because it's shorted at the moment. And when I try to plug this in, the whole system just freeze. I, I was trying to plug in in my main computer and just freeze the, 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 the system. So do not do that. Check with the multimeter. And yeah, I am not telling you that this is the case uh, for all the SSD drives, but for this in particular, it was really easy, easy fix. I just removed the diode and it's working again. That's great. Wonderful. But there is one problem. <laughs> This was a component to, to protect this solid state drive from future damage, like, like from the over voltage and so on. And if I remove this diode, this Zener diode, it means that I remove the protection. Uh, talking about this Zener diode, uh, the labels are there, but they are barely, barely noticeable. There was something A601 or something like that, but I can't even read the manufacturers. And I, I, I don't have a time to wait uh, when I will order the new. And I was looking around in my, st in my shop and there was no such Zener diodes ly lying around. So yeah, I was actually, I was forced to remove it and just leave it as it is. But this is easy, simple six, fix for this solid state drive. In, but the cost is the safety. Basically, this is one terabyte solid state drive and you cannot trust it anymore. If there will be really high fluctuations in your power supply, in your, or in your main system, it could fut damage this solid state drive and you will lost your data. So if you try to do this at your uh, do it at, at, your, at your own risk and uh, it's better of course it's better to put that Zener diode back as it was originally 3.2 or something volts or 5 volts and you are at least safe so far <laughs> but for me I don't have time to wait for the replacement and as I turned as I looked around every, everything else seems to be fine really fine and the data is there is nothing lost you can access the data everything is fine so what I would suggest in this case I easy fix this solid state drive but I will tell, tell my brother just keep a backup okay just keep a backup for your data and be safe <laughs> because this drive it could work for a year, for a two year, or maybe even 10 years, what it's supposed to be. But after that, there is no, like, you cannot be sure about this solid state drive. So this was my easy fix on Monday evening. Hope you liked it. And if you do, you know what to do. You have to give me a proper, uh, a proper, uh, yeah, whatever. So just leave me in the comments below. Do you have similar issues with the salt state drive as I do, as I did? Uh, maybe you, you have something similar experience with this. And uh, maybe you also fixed it in some kind of odd way. This is not a good fix, I can tell you that. This is like a um, sketchy fix. But the fix is fixed. It works. So, yeah. This is also, I, I think this is the cheapest solid state drive there is. Mm, Western Digital was really, really cheap, actually. But... I had uh, hard drives, Western Digital, and they were eh, they were okay for a while, but then I don't know something happened. I had the first uh, Western Digital drive. I had 360 gigabytes of uh, of memory, and after a half a, half a year, something happened to that memory. I don't remember. Ah, it starts to really, really slow down, but this disk is still okay. It's still, uh, I can use it as a backup. So yeah, this was, this was an easy fix. But as I told you, be aware that the security of this drive is gone. 
but at least at least you can get your data out if you have similar problem and for this little component um, and actually I was really really lucky that I could I can really really identify that there is a hole in the middle sometimes it could be really really tiny or even not noticeable hole so yeah this was a lucky case for me okay thank you goodbye and have a great day evening and afternoon